Hi, my name is Rene Martinez. I wanted to show you this new amplifier that I uh, just got a hold of. Uh, this amplifier here is an amplifier that was made for me by uh, Daniel Klein of uh, Port City Amplifiers in North Carolina. We got together a while back. He approached me and asked me what I would, what I think an amplifier uh, would be good to me to have something. Uh, think about it. Uh, let's see if we can put something together. Well, I immediately had a reaction to that. I knew what I would wanted to do, and it's not a big amplifier. I, I didn't want that. There's just so many 100 watt, 50 watt amplifiers out there. I wanted to do something that was different, only because I remember what happened to me a long time ago. Uh, in 1976, uh, in Dallas, Texas, uh, I started working at a guitar shop called Charlie's Guitar Shop. And when I was there, I was introduced to a lot of amps, a lot of amplifiers uh, that people were using. And most of the time, people were using Fenders, and uh, they were using uh, Gretsch amps, and they were using all of the amplifiers that were made back then, inclusive of some of the uh, transistor amplifiers that they had. But there was one amplifier that Charlie showed me that was most interesting, and it, would, it happened to be a Fender Harvard amplifier. It was just a small tweed amp. Uh, it had a 10-inch speaker in it. And it only had so much power, you know, like 10, maybe 15 watts. I, I don't remember the exact specs of that amplifier, but it was a small one. Um, I remember uh, we were playing through it as, after he got it, and it sounded really good uh, at a low volume. It was nice and clean. And then when you turned it up, it started to uh, break up. And it, and it broke up okay, but it seemed like it was pushing the speaker a little bit hard. I think it was just a regular Jensen speaker that they had in there. Uh, it was no big deal, but that's just what it sounded like. So um, as, as we put that up, uh, one day Charlie found an 8-inch speaker. It happened to be an 8-inch JBL. And uh, I didn't know that, but he, he got a hold of it, and he had to make some modifications on the inside to, to hold it. And um, he got it in there. And he was so excited about it, he came over to my house and brought it, and uh, it just sounded really good. It was nice and clean when you started it up, and then when you turn it up full blast, uh, it broke up, but it broke up nicely because the JBL could handle all the power that it was giving it without destroying the speaker or making it sound garbled after a while. So that was my idea to Daniel, was something very similar to that. And uh, this is what he sent to me. And uh, I also told him what I expected out of it other than just being the Harvard. Uh, I did want the 8-inch speaker in here, and I wanted a cabinet like this here with no Tolex on it, just the wood itself, uh, this color, black, and uh, I actually painted it black. He sent it to me, bare wood, and I just got through painting this, and then I wanted a uh, front cover, speaker cover, uh, cloth like this here, a beige color. It was very pretty, so I thought that this was uh, something unique in its own way. And, uh, and then all it has on it is... Uh, just a volume and a tone uh, knob on it, and that's it. And uh, and then there is the uh, eight-inch speaker. This one in particular has an eminence eight-inch speaker, and uh, I was really just overwhelmed by how it sounded like. The cabinet being made out of wood and no tolex around it, uh, for me, it just gives the amplifier uh, a, a tone that is just different. It just sounds great, sounds big. And, and that's just exactly what I wanted. He seems to have done it here in that. And uh, if you can see, uh, I've got the tone here set just about 12 o'clock. Well, the numbers say, you know, between 6 and 7. And, of course, I've got the volume down. And in this particular panel, it maybe would have, you know, another input. But we're not going to do that, uh, at least for right now. We're thinking about this is the way to start out with. But I wanted to try it out and let you hear what it sounds like. And, uh, and that's what I want to do now. I want to demonstrate it. I've got three guitars that I want to play through. Uh, I'm going to be playing through this uh, guitar here first. This is a, um, a guitar that was made for me by uh, Brian Ball from uh, Ernie Ball Guitars. I mean, Ernie Ball Strings. And um, I gave him uh, a set of my lipstick pickups. So that's what we're going to be playing through so that you can actually hear what this thing sounds like. And we're going to be uh, playing through different volume stages of this here. So right now it's completely off. 
and I'm gonna turn it up, oh, I'll say about nine o'clock. And of course I've got the, uh, the EQ or the tone just straight up, so. tones that this thing has just at volume three right now and the tone straight up. So in position five, that's what it sounds like. Now I'm going to go all the way down to position one as I call it. Uh, some people call it five, but I'm going to call it one for now. It's all the way down, all treble. And that is pretty clear for this volume, this tone setting and everything. As far as I'm concerned, it's clean. Second setting or fourth. Up here to the middle setting. Fourth. Second. So even with these pickups here, you get exactly five different tones at this one particular EQ that's here right now. So now what I want to do is still leave it at the same EQ, but I want to turn up the volume a little bit. So I'm going to go all the way up to 12 o'clock. setting it sounds like it's trying to maybe break up a little bit I can hear a little bit of something but it's still somewhat clean all the way I'm going to change the uh, the volume again I'm going to bring it up I'm going to bring it up to uh, three o'clock You know, a small amplifier, when you turn it up, you start to turn it up, it starts to break up too soon. You can't get that clean sound staying along because it's a small amp, and that's just the nature of the amplifier. But this one here, for some reason, even at 9 o'clock, and it's not up all the way, like I said, and halfway on the EQ, it still sounds pretty clean. Now I'm going to go all the way up, full blast. This is all the way up. and it's not it's just breaking up a little bit but still has the guts to it so just wanted to show you what it would sound like with a lipstick pickup guitar and, and these are my lipsticks that uh, that I have on here made by mojotone.com and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the amplifier volume back down to 12 o'clock and I'm going to give you some more EQ here so I'm going to put this thing up to about nine not quite three o'clock but kind of like 2 30 <laughs>
clean. I'm going to turn the volume up to about three. There it starts to break up. Just a little bit of a change in the EQ gives it a change all the way around. I just brought the trouble back down. So there's so many different tones going on here. It's, it's pretty cool for a small amplifier. I'm very, very happy with, with what I've got. This is what I heard a long time ago, and I wanted to have it recreated again, it's, and it seems to be going there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out, and I want to try a uh, Stratocaster. It's just a little bit different from the, uh, the pickups that uh, we were just using, the lipsticks. So this is a, uh, and these are my pickups as well. These are the ones that are that are wound uh, at mojotone.com and uh, we'll give this one here a try. So we'll do it again. Volume at 9 o'clock and we'll put the EQ back up at 12 o'clock. This is full blast. I mean, uh, at uh, 3 o'clock. 9 o'clock, I'm sorry. of its own tone and this is what I'm really liking about this amp so far so two different guitars two different kinds of tones that's ten different tones with five settings and then you have the the uh, so many just from the knobs themselves which you can still find and no pedals it's just straight guitar straight amplifier so I want to go now to uh, uh, another guitar here uh, a 175 so this is kind of like a uh, what do they call it, a jazz guitar, and, and, and in all essence it is, but I've worked with artists to use them not just for jazz, but for rock and roll, so, so this is what we got. We'll start again at 9 o'clock, same 12 o'clock tone. Setting there, and go down to the treble setting. 